Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to help the channel grow. Thank you. Hey, welcome back to Blar. Today we're going to take a look at Shayna Baszler's basic action figure series 127. Not a huge fan of how they're making these action figures. It looks okay. The top has just painted on paint, no detail really. Uh, the boots look good. Her in ring gear has changed. She uses more like, I guess, some more color in her gear now and also has some cool like Warhammer skulls incorporated into her gear. I think I would like to see the black with the incorporated skulls myself. So, but here it is the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler basic action figure. On the back here, that's a pretty good picture of Shayna Baszler with her signature moves, which are the Karakuta Clutch, which we see here as her finisher and submission, and Karakuta Driver, which I think is like a suplex kind of bomb into it. I'll try to find the gifts for both and post them so you can see what they look like in case you're not familiar. But I'm a big fan of Shayna Baszler. I think she should have been. Uh, women's champion already in the main roster and kind of put her in an enforcer role for a little bit and then now she's kind of i don't know what she's doing i think still the enforcer role she almost turned baby face which is kind of funny because the crowd will turn a wrestler due to like this crowd reaction so shana baszler of course stomped on nia Jax's arm and the crowd i think kind of like that and then she also beat the crap out of Ava Marie and stomped on her arm and then when she did that the crowd was like one more time one more time the thing is I guess I could have been set up for baby face because like no one likes Ava Marie you send Shayna Baszler out the crowd knows what's going to happen they enjoy what's going to happen it did happen and when you do start chanting that you can see Shayna smile a little bit just a little bit but I think she knows if she stomped one more time, she would turn baby face. And then, who knows, maybe the writing room wasn't ready for that. I don't know. So, maintained heel. Walked off. She, she does a pretty good kayfabe of maintaining heel most of the time. Like, during, like, the bump and stuff like that. Which is, I do like, I like that. It's pretty good. So, we're going to pop this figure up open. Because it came bent. Because Amazon has done that, like, two or three times now with these action figures. Which is really annoying. When Morgan came bent, I think another one I got came bent. So, some more reason to open it, I guess. But really annoying if you're a collector that likes to keep things in box. So, it's not a big deal to me, but I know it is a big deal to people that want to keep things sealed. So, we need to do better on that. So, this is $9.99, new on Amazon. Uh, should still be $9.99. Some of the basics have gone up to like $12 for some reason or whatever. So, let's open it up. I'll tell you what I do and don't like about this action figure. Let's check it out. All right, here's the action figure, series 127. I guess this is the new basic series packaging with the red and the black. I do like the, the character portraits on these. I think they look pretty good with the color scheme. They also have this new thing there where this is a, she is a grappler and they have like a high flyer and a brawler. This is what those little circles say, which is what everyone is lit up. It's what the wrestler supposedly is. Of course, they're gonna put her as a grappler being MMA. Submission Magician is one of her nicknames. Open up here. Trying to maintain the card a little bit. Hope, well, hopefully that is. Well, it comes in the mold. Which is good, I guess. It keeps us secure, but me pulling these things out of the mold is always iffy. I always feel like the hand or one of the limbs is going to break because they're stuck in there so so tightly. Uh, you just have to figure one of the bigger parts like the head or maybe the torso kind of push that out first and hope nothing snaps off. This one wasn't too bad. And to be honest the figure outside the packaging looks better than I thought. So I'm not overly impressed with it. Um, got a tattoo there on the arm, looks good. 
gear does match the picture, which is nice. You put the ponytail on, which is also a nice touch. The boots look good. A little bit of extra molding on there with the knee pad. You know, the queen, Queen's Army on the back with the Queen of Spades kind of stuff in the gear. Which that looks pretty good, actually. So I am more impressed with it out of the package than I was initially on first look. Still, I think they could have done better. They could have done something with the um, the, uh, the upper gear instead of just being paint. But I guess being basic, that's what they went for because there's no like chest articulation like they are, they are in the elites. So that's kind of a double-edged sword for me because I don't like a lot of um, I guess where the the ridges with the uh, articulation kind of takes away. The look to me when you see like um, you know the bolt or like how it bends. You know, articulation on this is pretty stiff. Her hands turn pretty easily, but the arm, the elbows, and the knees, not so much. I do like the art on the side of the, the tights. Looks good. Again, the boots look good. So a little bit about a little bit about Shayna Baszler. She is an American professional wrestler, as you all probably know if you're watching this, former MMA. She is currently on the SmackDown brand, where she's like an enforcer, like I said, role. Um, she is a two-time NXT Women's Champion, and a one-time, no, and a two-time Tag Champion with Nia Jax. So Shayna was trained in MMA by former UFC fighter Josh Barnett. And in catch wrestling by Billy Robertson, which is pretty well known in the wrestling world. But uh, if you're new to this, it's a little bit of backstory of her MMA and her wrestling training. Her MMA record is 15 wins, 11 losses, 13 wins by submission. Her career was about nine years from 06 to 2015, according to Wiki. That's where I kind of grabbed most of this stuff. I also said Baylor is a Kung Kru, if I'm saying that correctly, in the Muay Thai Boxing Association, and a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu brown belt. So, progression from beginner of white belt through brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is said to typically requires at least five years of dedicated training. After training under Josh Barnett, Shannon Baszler made her professional wrestling debut on September 26, 2015 for quintessential pro wrestling in reno nevada then on august 28 2017 shannon baszler entered the may young classic promoted tournament promoted by wwe and baszler made her nxt debut at a house show august 10th 2017. on august 12th she made her singles debut also in 2017 and then she went on to win nxt championship twice and then she moved on into the main roster where she feuded with Becky Lynch for a while and actually had a title shot they, they did make her lose in I guess I would say the correct way because it's kind of hard to believe that Becky Lynch would beat Shayna Baszler so not really a spoiler the match is well known that she didn't let go of her finisher causing her shoulders to be pinned to the mat and that's how she lost uh, the match so then after that, the world got kind of crazy for a while, as we all know. So, but now she is back. Hopefully he's going to be more in the spotlight soon. So we'll see. So we'll get back in the title run. Maybe we'll see a baby face turn, which would be kind of interesting, I think. So, but the good thing is he can always go back and forth between heel and baby face. That's part of the awesomeness of professional wrestling. So just figure it's not bad. I'm, I'm not I'm not upset with this purchase. So usually I try to say I was like I only get one of so and so, but it was nine ninety nine of Amazon. I wanted to do this review. That was pretty pretty decent. And then we have the cards here again, the championship wrestling. I believe that's Dakota Kai, and then. That's probably near her debut NXT. 
So if you get a chance, check out some Shayna Baszler highlights. I would suggest her Elimination Chamber highlights. You can find that on YouTube. That's really entertaining to watch. Her run through a couple of other wrestlers very quickly. Of course, with heavy, heavy edits, but it's still very entertaining. Well, without edits is her return to the ring during the um, Thunderdome era with R-Truth and Sazawa. So that is also very entertaining to watch. So check that out. And Shane Baszler also has her own YouTube channel, The Bays. I'll post a little spot here. So check that out as well. Some pretty fun content. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.